Ask my question for the ladies today, is it time to break out the sweaters? I think it is, Yeah, right? I think it is, and seasonally. Officially? I mean, officially Sunday, right? Sunday, start of fall, it's, <laughs> and also the temperature. Well, so and the rain is too. coming our way, too. Well, yeah, the rain, we're trying to ignore the rain, but of course, that camera behind us is showing the overcast skies, the rain that's coming mm -hmm. our way. You'll wanna grab the umbrellas for tomorrow, or at least something with a hood. But yeah, sweater weather, even beyond the rain chances, cooler temperatures, that's what we're going to be seeing. So, if you're heading out at all for this evening, it does look like we'll be clouded up, but at least staying mainly dry and potentially a bit foggy between now and mid night. Wind will start to pick up a bit through the overnight hours and so will those rain chances. And then we have rain chances really through the day tomorrow. It doesn't look like it's going to rain everywhere at all times tomorrow, but we're going to be watching those rain chances closely as we could even be getting it on mist and drizzle at times to start the day off. So those clouds build in today and then next up is this low pressure as it does move closer and closer in our direction. It's going to thicken those clouds, reinforce those clouds and also bring us rain. So the low pressure that is currently a bit to the south. It's going to be moving basically just south of southern New England. The perfect setup for it to be swinging in wind and rain to parts of the Cape and right along the coast. Now, most of southern New England is going to be getting in on that rain. Uh, but for us here, around 2, 3 o'clock, starting to see, this is tomorrow afternoon, starting to see some pockets of heavier rain right along the Cape, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, and then moving towards the south shore and Boston by the time that we go into tomorrow evening. So it's going to become more widespread by tomorrow evening, but as mentioned, mist and drizzle still possible even for those morning hours. And then as we go into Friday, we're going to see this rain continuing. Parts of the Cape still getting in on rain. It's going to likely uh, be the most as far as the rain goes right along the Cape and the islands, and it will start breaking apart Friday for the rest of us. More scattered in nature, the kind of rain that you may get out and you may see rain coming down at times, but you'll also be able to find some dry times through the day on Friday. So so two to three inches of rain possible along the Cape. Some locally higher totals are going to be possible as well. Then as you get to the South Shore, one to two inches. That does go back towards Providence. And Boston, southern New Hampshire is in more of around a half an inch to an inch of rain as far as how much rain you can expect. So that does include Cape Ann. The further north you go, the lower those totals will be. So below half an inch once you get towards Manchester. As far as wind goes, it's going to also be windy. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds uh, for areas in southern New Hampshire, the greater Boston area likely seeing 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts and 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts along the Cape, the islands and the South Shore. So we are going to have to get ready for this one. It's going to be bringing the wind and the rain, especially along the Cape and right along the coast. That's where the largest impacts are going to be. As far as temperatures overnight tonight, temperatures in the upper 60s or in the low 60s, excuse me, upper 50s, low 60s as you're waking up and heading out the door tomorrow. So fair as far as the forecast goes uh, for temperatures. We're going to see those cooler temperatures, though, staying with us. As far as highs, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're in the 60s. And it doesn't look like we're going to be in the 70s much on this 10-day forecast. Sunday, starting to dry things out. That's also the start of fall. This is when we really get into the sweater weather, even with a little sunshine, 64 degrees for high temperatures. Monday and Tuesday, we have those 65-degree temperatures staying with us in mainly dry conditions to start next week. But then another round of rain comes in and we're also keeping with those upper 60s even towards the end of next week.